Hello, Collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. What's up, Collective? Let's see what's going on uh, behind the scenes around your energy today, right? This reading is for the Collective, so it's not going to be for all of you, okay? Um, and that's okay. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. I really do mean that. You guys, thank you for being patient with me today. I'm working on making a wish come true today, okay? Um, I feel like wishes are, are coming to those who have done, put in the effort, you know? Um, anyway, um, thank you, thank you to everybody out here. You guys have been nothing but supportive and awesome to me, and I'm so, so grateful for all of you, okay? Um, Divine, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective? Messages for the collective? Boy. I'm really getting the sense that somebody's angry, you know? They're they're feeling angry. They um I feel like this person did not want to move forward here on this, okay? And I mean, they didn't want to um, they didn't want to make the first move in communicating. Okay. They, I feel like they, they've been sitting here waiting for you to do it, for you to approach them. And that's not happening here. This person has said too much, has done too much. They've kept you in a mental prison. I just feel like this is all the painful things that they've done to you in the past. And in order to regain control of the situation here, I feel like that's what this person's problem is. They want control. They want control, and they can't have control of you, okay? This person has no control of you right now. So um, I feel like they're really upset. They're upset because they know if, if they want peace between you and this connection, um, they're going to have to come forward. But here's the thing. I'm just, I'm getting the sense that there's, this is like a, an empty cup here. Why do I get the sense that this person's going to end up being really sarcastic or something when they come forward? I don't know why I'm feeling that way. Um, yeah, very manipulative. Okay, maybe you've already seen this person's manip manipulation, right? Um, a side to them that you can't unsee. I'm just getting the sense that they're coming in like, all right, I know I have to make the first move. Dang it. You know what I mean? It's kind of one of those things like they're mad. They're mad. They want to kind of control you. They want to um, they want to control the situation. They want to be in control of this again. And um, and but when they come to you, they've got like the smirk on their face, like this cup, whatever this offer is their apology. It's there's nothing in this cup. They come in. I feel like they come in with like this snarky. Um, sarcastic attitude, you know, and being in the King of Swords energy, this is, this could be someone like an authority figure, this could be a police officer, um, this could be somebody who works in a court of law, something like that. Um, uh, I just feel like they've got their ego, they want to be in charge, they, uh, this is just somebody who's coming in um, because they feel like you know, it's almost like they, you're breaking their ego, but they don't want to let go of that ego. So they're kind of going to be sarcastic. I'm picking up on, I don't know why I'm picking up on that sarcastic kind of attitude off of this person. Okay. So yeah, um, fairly arrogant, you know, yeah. And it, they just come in to keep you stuck in your head again. Like this is why this person wants control of you. That's it. They're coming in to manipulate you, but they're going to have some kind of, like, it's going to be um, sarcasm or it's going to be um, arrogance, something like that. Okay, you're going to be able to pick up on it in their communication. They're, they didn't want to have to approach you. They, they really just want you to be hurt is really what this is. They want you hurting and pining over them and being all stuck in your head over them. You know, they're, um, they, as they come in, I'm just noticing this kind of little smirk on their face. They know that this is fake. 
They just want you like this. They want to be um, in charge of you and what you're thinking, and they want you to see you hurting over them. Okay, I don't like this person's energy, I'm telling you. I don't like it. Yeah, they're coming in. They're going to leave quickly. This person may even use their wand, try to be intimate with you. You know, all they want to do is see you hurting over them. Like maybe that's how they, I don't know what's wrong with this person. Why? You know, why are they doing this? I feel like you're in the process of trying to get over them and doing your healing. And they just want to come in and get you all in a mental prison all over again. The, all these swords, that's these swords here. Okay. They want to see you heartbroken. Yeah, they're coming in with this offer here. They're stressed out. But here's the thing. It's like it's like a competition between you two. And they they just want to have you under their thumb they you know they want control of your mind <laughs> really is what it is and they want to see you heartbroke they're going to come in offering everything like can we have this new beginning it's going to be beautiful it's going to be wonderful i'm going to be there for you it's going to be solid but but in the way they're saying it like um you know it's got some sarcasm behind it i can't quite describe it, it if this is resonating with you, if this is your story, you're going to know what I'm talking about when they come forward with this offer, which they are. Okay, they are. But man, it's just to cause you strife. It's just to put you in your head. It's just to make you so that you can't stop thinking about them. Because you know what? They can't stop thinking about you and they hate it. They hate it. They're actually not in control right now, collective. You are. And that's the part that they can't stand the most. You could be dealing with, um, I'll call out the signs again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe Virgo, Aries, Leo, heavy at Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn maybe. Yeah, all this person, it's almost like a competition. They don't want to hurt over you. They don't want to keep thinking about you. They want you to be hurting over them. This is ridiculous. Who is this person? Yeah, they're a fool. They're acting like a fool. And you know what? They don't see it. They don't see it, but they're walking straight into a tower. Okay? Yeah, because you know what? They're coming towards an empress, and you're going to tell them you don't really need them anymore. <laughs> so they're coming in to regain control of the situation and you, and you're going to be like, why are you here? <laughs> right? I'm doing, I'm doing great without you, man. Um, yeah, I'm an empress. You're not coming towards me correctly. Uh, yeah. It's not going to work. I, I feel like maybe this person hasn't seen you or talked to you in a long time. They've waited this out so long. It took you a lot of time to reach this point in your healing and in, in working on yourself, building your abundance, right? Um, learning every queen in the deck here. Moving on, moving, you know, you're in the process of leaving this behind and already being healed and this person is coming in to try to start this game again because they don't like that they don't have control over you <laughs> you know what honestly they don't know what they're they don't know um what's going to happen here they don't see this coming but you're going to give this person a tower moment this is going to be a complete ego death for them they're going to have to walk away feeling like an idiot okay they are i feel like you're going to you're going to completely squash this person's ego, okay? Yeah, you are. You're going to be like, how, how dare you? You know, the audacity of this person. They may come in, they may even start a fight. They may start some kind of argument because this is somebody who can be very cold, very nasty, very harsh not really caring about how you feel they want you what well, the only thing they want is for you to be hurting over them that's it that's all that they want 
and you're going to be like, I, I'm not hurting over you anymore. I'm over you. I don't want this anymore. Yeah, you're going to send him away having a tower moment, a crushed ego. It's not just a bruised ego. It's a crushed ego and feeling like an idiot. I feel like this person's going to um, immediately feel pretty awkward, okay, when you dismiss them. And I feel like that's kind of what it feels like to me. You're dismissed. I'm over this, right? Don't try it. Yeah, judgment call on that one. It's done. And I feel like, too, when this person comes back around to try to hurt you again, that's all they want. Uh, after they leave, they may be experiencing a tower moment, okay? Um, because they're going to be under judgment after this for actually going through with this. They're not coming in to be serious. They're, they're, they're promising you this, right? Let's reunite. Let's get married. The, I, someday I see us being married in the future. Now, you know what? Um, yeah, this person is a control freak. You know, we've got the emperor and the empress out here on the board, okay? Um, but I feel like this person is a narcissist. This is a narcissist to an empress, okay? I feel like you are kind of wanting your emperor. You want something solid. You want somebody who's going to stand by you, but I don't feel it's this person. I really don't. I really don't. And you're going to send them packing, feeling like an idiot, with a bruised ego, a crushed ego. This person's going to be angry, angry, angry after this, okay? Because they have no control over you anymore. None. And um, some of you are even moving away. This could be a house move, a location change, just moving on with your life. Yep, moving towards, yep, a new soulmate connection here that's going to bring you to the Ten of Cups. That's what you want. You want something solid. You want, um, you want emotional fulfillment. You want a true soulmate connection who's not going to just try to keep coming in to keep you hurting. That's all this person wants to do. They just want to keep you hurting. So yeah, you're moving on and you're about to get a new soulmate connection. That is going to lead to ultimate wish fulfillment here. Okay. Yes. You could be a Taurus, Aries. You could be any sign. I feel like you're making a judgment call on this person and afterwards um, the divine gives them judgment too. Yeah, they're, they're going to be missing out on a blessing here. And it, they're going to be pouty and having a little hissy fit behind the scenes over it too. This is this person. In the end, they're just going to be having like a temper tantrum. Really, well, this, is, this is a narcissist. Um, losing their supply, okay, and with a wrecked ego, okay, yeah, man, let's see what your advice is, collective, not for you is on the bottom of the deck, yeah, this person's not for you, you could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, yeah, you're re already receiving downloads and messages, so you look at this, You've got um, you've got abundance and love coming. Okay, we're seeing a lot of gold here. We're seeing a lot of hearts here. So I feel like yeah, this is gold and hearts, right? The ten of cups, the ten of pentacles. That's what you have coming towards you. Um, I feel like you're just being divinely led forward. That's you stepping in. All of these three is you stepping into this brand new portal here. Okay. We'll leave this here. Yep. Yep, it's just, it's time to go. That's what I'm feeling like here. It's time, yep. And what did I say? It's time to go. Yes, I cannot make it up. That's what this is. You're clear. It's time. You're clear, clearing the energy out, cleaning things out of, you know, things that no longer resonate with you. You could be... Um, starting to pack some boxes, get rid of some things, you know, clutter in your home, whatever it is, right? This could just be clearing out the energy as well. And then it's time to go, right? 
Um, you, I, this is really fast forward movement. I feel like this is your energy. Things are going to start moving really quickly now. Okay. And I can contest to that. I've noticed that in my own life now. So yes. Um, and it is time to go. I, I feel like um, you're possibly making a location change, a house move, something. Okay, but it's going to bring you, yep, it's going to bring you to a new soulmate connection. That's this right here. Your ultimate wish fulfillment. I cannot make it up. So here's the thing, collective. Keep moving forward. Just keep moving forward. Use your intuition with everyone who approaches you. Um, trust that intuition. Use your discernment. If somebody is coming at you with any kind of sign of sarcasm or nastiness, you know what? Just walk away. Okay? Um, and just know that whoever this person is, oh my gosh, they're going to feel this. They're going to feel this. Um, you're literally going to be shattering their this person's ego. Okay? Um, and you, they have no more control over you at all. <sighs> yeah, they don't see this one coming. They don't. They don't see this coming. Okay, they're coming back to deliberately make sure that you're hurting over them again. Okay, they don't see this tower coming. Okay, so anyway, collective, that's what I have for you for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you dig this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.